Hey, what's going on guys? This is Matt, and today we're going to be taking a look at CarPlay on an iPad. So, let's get started. As you probably already know, CarPlay was made for easier navigation of iOS while you're driving. But the thing that sucked about it was its limited availability. Instead of getting a brand new car or purchasing an aftermarket system, you can now jailbreak your iOS device and get the exact same CarPlay interface directly onto it. So I'll leave some links below if you want to know how to jailbreak, which now in 2015 will take you under 5 minutes to do. The jailbreak tweak that allows you to do this is called Ignition, and it's currently a free download from the City of Store. Because Ignition is new, it is somewhat buggy, but it works well enough to be usable in a car. You get the exact same clean interface of CarPlay with music, maps, messages, and you're now playing, podcasts, and it does also support third-party music apps such as RDO, Spotify, and a few others. What's great about CarPlay is the simple interface and big icons allow you to easily use it while you're driving. And I can say that from using Ignition on the road, it definitely does that. Again, this is a completely free setup of CarPlay in your car, as opposed to spending hundreds of dollars buying one. If you guys are looking to deck out your car, along with CarPlay, head on over to Snazzy Labs and check out the great video Quinn did on some great affordable tech upgrades that you can use in your car. Anyway guys, let me know what you guys think about CarPlay, and if you'll ever use it in the future. If you guys like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, as it really does help me out. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.